Hi, I'm Chris Dearden with Sysdig Customer Success. Today, we'll learn about policies in Sysdig Secure. Runtime protection is a key feature of Sysdig Secure, giving you a services-aware approach to security within a container-based architecture. Using the kernel system calls to a host as a data source allows us to audit the behavior of a running container and take action if that behavior is undesirable. The way we achieve this is through Sysdig Secure Policies. These policies are built on top of a set of rules that define the boundaries of expected behavior for the environment and set in place actions to be taken should that behavior fall outside those boundaries. The rules engine is built on top of the open source Falco tool used for the activity monitoring. To view the currently configured policies, click on the Policies tab within the Secure User Interface. The tab shows all of the currently configured policies. By default, these are shown in their priority order, with the first validated policy at the top and the last policy at the bottom. Policies are evaluated in this order until a terminating action occurs. Examples of this could be that a container is stopped or a syscall is blacklisted. If I want to modify the priority of a policy, it is done from the Edit Policy screen. Simply change the priority and apply the changes. The policy list displays the following. Severity. This can be red, orange or yellow for high, medium and low severity policies. Disabled policies are shown in grey. Policy name and scope. What is impacted by this policy? The icons to the right of the policy name show which channels are being used for notification. Who and how are we going to tell if this policy has been violated? It can be a simple email or maybe a post in a Slack channel. Sysdig Secure supports a wide selection of notification mechanisms. Notifications are useful, but there are times when you need an action to be taken. Sysdig Secure can stop or pause containers that violate policy. This is shown as a stop or pause icon next to the policy. The last icon you will see next to a policy is the record icon. This will indicate if the policy has been set to take a capture of the event. Sysdig captures are used to give us a deep insight into what exactly has been happening before and after a policy has been triggered. To view a policy in more detail, click it and review the settings in the side panel. For example, this policy will notify us if a container spawns a shell process anywhere in the infrastructure. We will let the container keep running, but will capture the activity 10 seconds before and 30 seconds after the event. If you want to filter and group the policies list, use these drop down boxes at the top of the page. If I'm only interested in high severity policies, I can uncheck and filter out the medium and low policies from here. I can also change the grouping of the policies and group them by priority, scope or severity. That wraps it up for now. Thanks for watching this short video about policies in Sysdig Secure.